In this video, we will discuss how to use Progress V4 for your case management needs. The objectives of this video are to cover the case management dashboards for child protection and GBV modules, and how to create views for case management activities. Once you've started using V4 child protection and GBV modules for your case management, it is important that you understand how to navigate the platform to really support your case management processes. To use V4 for case management, there are some key functionalities that is important that you are aware of. The first is dashboards. For the child protection and for the GBV modules, we have set up case management dashboards, which will outline some of the key actions that you need to take with your active GBV or child protection cases. To find the dashboard, you can click on the arrow next to the module that you're in. So GBV, I click on this arrow and I come down to common and I find dashboards. If I click on the dashboard, you'll notice this automatically takes me to the child protection case management dashboard. If I click on the little arrow next to this, I will see the other custom dashboards that are created. The other case management dashboard that would be useful is the GBV case management dashboard and the case management pending action. So let's start with the case management dashboard. The case management dashboard is going to be a place you can come to see the basic overview of the cases that you are currently working on. What is important to note is that the data you will see here is only that data which your security privileges grant you access to. Thus, if you are a caseworker, you will only be able to see those cases that you are the owner of. If you are a supervisor, you will only be able to see on this dashboard the cases that are yours or owned by you, as well as those cases that are owned by the individuals that you supervise. The Child Protection Case Management Dashboard includes four tables that will be updated automatically based upon the information you have input into your case management files. The first is the active child protection cases divided by their priority. So low, medium, high, and emergency. The next is the active interventions by type and by process status. So we are looking at the number of interventions that have been created by type, so BIA, BID, advocacy, livelihoods, and then the number that are pending, the number that are ongoing, and the number that are closed. So you should want the majority of your interventions ongoing or closed. Having the majority of them pending would indicate that there's a lot of action that still is waiting to be taken. And then finally, there's the active incidents. So this is for those cases that an incident has been created by type and whether or not that was something that has already occurred or that they are at risk for. There is a fourth table that will be generated through Power BI, and this will give you your child protection cases by sex and age. This will show up when you once you have signed into Power BI. The GBV case management dashboard looks similar. You have active GBV cases by priority. You have intervention by status, and you have at or incidents by at risk or occurred, and the same Power BI table. The other dashboard that is already pre-populated for your case management needs are pending actions. There's the GBV pending actions and then there's this pending actions dashboard which is child protection. This is where you can go every day when you log in to identify what are the actions that need to be taken by you. We have created a dashboard that includes six views. The first view is indicates the referrals that, are, that have been sent to you that are pending acknowledgement. Any referral here that's listed, you can then click on that referral number and you can then acknowledge or take action based upon that. The next table is active follow-up interventions pending for my cases. This will list all of your cases interventions that are pending follow-up from you. And so this is where you can see what actions are waiting to be taken and what date. 
This is why we say that it's quite important to log things as interventions so that you are able to track when follow-up needs to occur. As you can see, my intervention status here is pending and it was to start on the 21st. I can go ahead and click on this and I can then see what is that follow-up action that I need to take. I need to do a protection interview for this. So it can remind me to go and take these this follow-up actions as necessary. Third table is active child protection case shares. So here we'll list anyone who has shared a case with me so that I'm aware of where to find those. The fourth one are active BIAs owned by me that are pending interviews. So I can keep track of those BIAs that I still need to complete interviews for. I also have a list of active BIDs that are pending interviews. And then finally, any active child protection transfer requests. So if I have requested a case to be transferred, but I have there's been no response to that, I can then see the list here. So if someone has not accepted the transfer or if additional follow-up needs to happen, I can look for the cases here and then take action as necessary. This pending action dashboard is quite useful in terms of understanding what actions need to be taken. Instead of having to go case by case, you can really have laid out here where, where are the actions that you need to take. The GBV dashboard is similar but slightly different due to the different needs of G GBV cases. The first table are referrals that have been sent to me. Here I can see any referral that has been sent to me and is see the status. So I can see if it is pending my acknowledgement. So in the morning when I show up at work, I would open up this dashboard and I would look and, re and respond to the referrals here to acknowledge and then to take necessary action. Below are referrals that I have sent. This is something I would also look at to see what the status of this referral that I have sent is. If it is still pending acknowledgement, I would then follow up with that service type to make sure that they are taking action on the referrals that I have sent. The next is the interventions, which are the any follow-up interventions that require additional work. Next is GBV case shares. So any case shares that are still active. I can see here all of the cases that I've shared with other individuals for them to be able to access those records for specific reasons, such as a uh, handover or for specific action to be taken, such as RSD or resettlement. The next is active assessments owned by me that are pending. So any assessments that are pending action will be listed here and I can then identify them and follow up to take the necessary action required such as an interview or next steps. And then the final tab is the active GBV transfer request. So any cases that I have actively requested to be transferred to someone else or any requests that have been sent for me to then take on the ownership. While we have set these up as pre-populated dashboards, you do have the ability to set up your own views. These tables are called views as we explained in the original overview and navigation. If you would like to set up your own view, you need to go to the entity that includes the information that you are looking at. So if I wanted to set up a view about my referral, I would go to my navigation bar. I would click on referrals. And now right now I'm looking at active referral views for everybody. This is not specific to me. As we mentioned, the referrals are visible to everyone. So I need to specifically see those referrals which have been sent to me. So to do so, I'm going to create a view. What I will do is I will click on the arrow next to the title here, which tells me what I'm looking at. Currently, I'm looking at all active referrals. I wanna see only those referrals that are sent to me. So what I will do is I will go down to the bottom and you will see create personal view. I will click on that. And now it's going to allow me to generate my own personal view. So what I will do is I will start with by clicking on select. And this is going to indicate to me each of the fields that I can find in the referral form. And so I'm going to select what I'm looking for are those referrals that have been sent to me so I'm going to look for the field where my name would be identified. 
And for referral, if I was to look at the referral form, that would be progress user. Now, you can see once I've selected progress user, it then gives me the option to identify which progress user. It automatically defaults to the current user, which is me. So this is what I want, but I also have the option to choose equals and then I could choose which individual or other sort of qualifiers. I'm going to do equal use current user and that is all I need. So right now this is will then show me if I select this, this is going to show me all referrals that have been sent to me. If I did not want to see all referrals sent to me, I only wanted to see those with a specific status, then I could add in another criteria to do so. I would click on select and then I would select the field that I'm looking for. So I am looking for the status and I'll go down to referral status. And now it says equals and I can choose what values that I want my referral status to show. And do I want to see closed? I not particularly. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for those referrals that are requiring my action. So that would be, let's say, pending acknowledgement. And I'm going to add this here. So now I'm going to make a table that shows me only those referrals that have been sent to me and that are pending my acknowledgement. What I will do is I will go ahead and then I will save this and it will ask me to make a title. And so I'm going to name this exactly what it is. Referrals. Now I'm going to close this. And when I go back to this active view, now when I click on this arrow, I can now find under my views, the view I just created, which was referrals pending my acknowledgement. When I click on this, I would then see a list of all of those referrals sent to me that have referral status as pending acknowledgement. I could also do the same to create cases referred by me. So if I wanted only to see the status of those cases that I have referred, I can create that view. So I go to select and I click on referred by, and then I would do equals current user because that's me. I referred them. And then if I wanted to see all of the referrals that I have referred, I would leave it like this and push save, but I want to only see those that I'm, that are still waiting on action. So I would then look at referral status. And I'm going to choose the statuses that I want to see. And I'm going to choose every one. I'm going to click on it and then add it to this box. I'm going to choose all of those besides closed. So any one of the referrals that's still requiring action. And then I'll push OK. And now I'm going to push save. And if I close this down and then I come back here, I can then find my new personal view cases. I referred still required action. And here you'll notice all of the cases that I've referred and then I can see their status. Once I have set these personal views, then I can always go back and access them. You can create them for your GBV cases, for your child protection assessments, BIAs. You would always go to the entity that you are wanting the information for and create the view there. Same for BIA. I can create a personal status saying any BIA pending my interview. And here I have a list of them. Views are an important way for you to be able to best access the information that you have entered into V4 
for your case management. And I highly encourage you to play with them and figure out how you can best set up your progress to help you do the work you need to do on a daily basis. Thank you very much.